be the life uh, of Estonians and our history because yesterday was a big day for us we celebrated 30 31st uh, anniversary of restoration of Estonian Republic as a part of a crusade to baptize Livonia and Livonia is current Latvia and Estonia in beginning of the 13th century uh, a pope in Athentius the third have sent his messengers to Livonia the town was uh, built when a first city wall was built when we got a status over town and when we got uh, Lubeck rights as a right for a free trade church with a very uh, strange design architect meant to show the imperfection of life with this design The stage can be used in a reverse way, it can be used to host singers. A living district, uh, Hill Lasna, and this is where we took uh, a material, a stone, a limestone for the building.
In uh, 1974 began uh, preparations for the Olympic Games in Moscow and uh, Tallinn participated in the competition to host Olympic regatta together with Odessa and uh, Riga and St. Petersburg. But uh, our architects took all the responsibility and prepared designs even before the competition was officially open. And we won uh, that uh, competition and hosted Olympic Regatta. As a part of preparations, this road was enlarged. The sea was coming up to the hill and the right hand side, Maria Maggi, uh, the castle of Maria, uh, named by one Russian duke, built in this place. The next uh, monument on the right hand side, the Stella, is a monument to victims of the World War II. And we see some concrete uh, uh, structures, yes, something. Um, there are rumors that this is an unbuilt bridge to Helsinki because 80 kilometers, why not? But the, they were used to watch regatta in the sea. Walls is a monument to the museum uh, to victims of the communism. If you come here, this part is open uh, 24 hours. In uh, Tallinn is, and uh, we are proud to be named green capital of Europe in 2023 and here we're approaching Pirita river and uh, convent building uh, monasteries was, it was also built for some big competitions during Soviet Union times uh, some construction works are always in Tallinn for you to visit something next time. We're crossing over uh, River Pirita and we see Saint Birgitta convent on our ruins of it on our right hand side and uh, the modern one is right to the left from it. Nuns live here till now. The monastery was uh, destroyed during the Livonian War in the 16th century and was never restored by unknown reasons. On the right hand side is the part of the Olympic village and the Olympic center and where Rigata was uh, starting from the river to the open seas. One of the reasons Stalin won the competition, apart from the prepared uh, uh, plans and uh, some erected buildings, was our windy climate. We're taking a beautiful road along the river, uh, along the coastline, uh, along the Tallinn Bay, and uh, return to the center and uh, old town. Um, all Baltic countries were automatically linked to Soviet Union and 1940 when uh, Tal Estonia became Soviet Socialist Republic. World War II, so most of the uh, Jewish population uh, left the town among out of 10,000 only 1,000 remain and uh, Estonians were welcoming German army because we thought they were rescuers. They will uh, finally give us uh, our freedom back. But uh, surprisingly, as an unpleasant surprise, it was even worse than the Soviet Union. A plan of Hitler was to build in this beautiful country one big labor and concentration camp. We have 28 of them in uh, in the country. So no surprise that uh, by the end of the war when the Red Army came back uh, to hit Germans out of the country it was a big dilemma for uh, 
almost half percent of population and it was hard choice to make what uh, what is worse you stay what is less worse and to you see an angel with a cross in hand it's a monument to a russian warship rusalka rusalka means mermaid that sank here in the end of the 19th century the monument was set in 1902 and was made by Estonian uh, artist Amandus Adamson, the only his work in Estonia, by the way. Uh, and because none of the crew uh, survived, and it is like a boat crossing uh, or okay, going through the sea. Angel instead of a mermaid, because mermaid would look like a dead fish in the opinion of the architect of the, uh, the sculptor. So the angel is holding a cross and blessing the fairies that are leaving the harbor. And this blessing always worked until 1994 when we had the biggest tragedy in the Baltic Sea when uh, a fairy traveling from Tallinn to Stockholm sank. Uh, one and a half thousand passengers, and uh, most of them wouldn't, uh, didn't survive. This tragedy, the reasons of it are still unknown. Reasons, very many rumors of uh, <coughs> hidden reasons. And as uh, our government said, uh, families of died people finally need to know what really happened so it's still uh, going on and I hope we shall know it soon we came into a new road that was built by 2020 and opened in a Covid time connecting Pirita with the harbor so you as a guest coming back to the city do not have to drive twice on the same road it's all area on the left hand side you will see on a buildings Rotterdam city it's still uh, under work the uh, changes in this area continue because it's a big one and expensive uh, big investments and it is all local is investors bring a storm so shipyarding was moved from Tallinn to uh, current Baltiski. In those times it was called Baltiski Harbor. Baltiski transformed into Estonian more, more sound Baltiski. This is Porto Franco and uh, residential and uh, other business areas on the coast. On the line and on the uh, place that was uh, closed with the fence in the uh, beginning of the 70s and the world, after World War II uh, the access to the sea was very restricted enough of sitting and driving it will be time for some exercise walking the harbor part developed and uh, out of one terminal we have uh, three here terminal a b c d uh, all most of ferries are connecting Tallinn and Helsinki we have a stop here I will show you uh, the places in the terminal and then we continue to the old town